Hi everyone, how are you today? Welcome in, welcome in. So, we've been working on our sacral chakra, okay? We are talking about um, emotional trauma, we are talking about sexual trauma, we are talking about even relationship trauma, okay? All of these things are affecting your sacral chakra, okay? And, um, you know, I put a video out there for you guys. Um, it's a little emotional release video for you to kind of come into contact mentally with your emotional trauma because sometimes we think we get over things and we don't get over them, okay? We actually just tuck them away and we think that we get over them. And what we're doing now is that, you know, this universal energy that's coming around that's creating all these emotions, that's making us feel our emotions, okay? We, this is the time, the universe is telling us this is our time to open up those doors that involve our trauma from the past and try to figure out how they are affecting us or why maybe maybe you don't even realize that a trauma from the past is affecting your behavior all right not until you realize that you even had a trauma okay and um you know i'm going to tell you that nothing if 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 you have no trauma nothing will come up okay you're not going to just make something up in your head all right and i think that's a big fear from people is um that what they see isn't real okay we have to think about memory okay what is memory false memory what is false memory there are so many studies that prove that false memories can be created real easily okay and this is what i mean what a false memory is if you didn't experience it yourself and someone told you about it okay um then that is a false memory even though that you retain that information and then you can retell that story all right that that memory is not a true memory of yours and every time that you hear um someone else talk about a similar memory of yours, you get extra details, extra details from different perspectives that changes that memory, the original memory. So, you know, from the moment that a memory is created in the moment, like right now I'm creating a moment, creating a memory, it will change every time I go to recall it. Okay. It'll change differently. It'll change. There will be detail that will be different, whether somebody else influences my, my memory, whether I influence my memory. Okay. Memory, what is memory? Do we even have an accurate memory? Do we? All right, this is why we were trying to uncover all of these blocks, okay? Because sometimes um, our memory and blocking out memory is our best defense mechanism and is the one we don't even know about, okay? So I did talk about those release, um, emotional release exercises, and I did one myself the other day, okay? I did the one where I put my hand here and put my other hand down below. And I started to just do rhythmic breathing, rhythmic breathing. And then I also put on a sacral chakra meditation that I'm going to link in this video because it is the bomb. Okay. So I'm telling you right away, my first block came through. Okay. My birth, the birth of my last child, Elin was very traumatic. Okay. Um, I woke up at 1201 with my very first contraction. I didn't know what it was, even though she was my fourth child, okay? I had back labor like crazy. Um, I could barely sit down. Um, we live 45 minutes from the hospital, so we got in the car right away. Um, we got to the hospital, and because of COVID and all that stuff, it was awful. Like, here I am almost about to give birth, walking through the hospital alone because they wouldn't let my husband in. Now, I get to the room. I can't not even sit down, okay? I can't sit down. I didn't even give birth sitting down. I couldn't sit down. I was in so much pain, no drugs, nothing, not even, not even the slightest. Okay. She came out so fast and I was in so much pain. I was in so much pain. Okay. I was screaming. My doctor, my midwife even remembered me by my vocals. Okay. I was screaming for help. It was very painful. And then boom, the baby comes out and what do they do? They hand you the baby. They hand you the baby. You want to know what I did? I said, I can't hold her. I can't touch her. I, I just went through one of the most traumatic experiences of my life and you want me to smile and hold my baby and, and laugh and giggle like, ugh, you know, in that moment. And, and I didn't even care what anybody thought because I knew that I just went through something very traumatic and that if I didn't pass this, I was going to have to come back to it. Well, moments later, holding my baby, obviously, it's a very happy moment. I'm holding my baby. I recovered a little. I got my mentality back. Okay. Um, and I can just remember, you know, I, I never had the time to cry. I never had the time to um, weep and sob. I mean, it's, it's painful. How many, you know, I mean, I can remember hurting myself worse playing sports and crying more. 
all right? Now, um, so I sat in my garage. <laughs> I didn't know why I was even in my garage. I sat on a freezer in my garage. I put on this music. I sat there. I was like, okay, I had some really bad period cramps. And I'm like, oh, maybe this is, maybe I have a block. Maybe this is connected. So I sat and I meditated and I started to weep and I was crying. I don't even know if you want to call it a cry. I sounded like a seal. Like it was, it was the craziest sounds were coming out of me. The energy that was coming out of me, the negative energy that was stored in, in my uterus from that birth. Okay. It was, it was awful. And the more I cried and yelled and let it out, the less cramps that I had. It was, it was so crazy. And, you know, I was to the point where after I let it all out and I envisioned all the negativity leaving my body, I was able to sit there and put both hands like in my, on my sacral chakra, you know, right below my belly button and just give it love and thank it for allowing me to process those feelings, allowing me to cry and sob and, you know, just feel what I didn't get to. Okay. That emotional trauma that was connected in my sacral chakra. Okay. You know, within within minutes of me, you know, um, doing that, though, the, she ended up waking up and I had to sit there and lay with her and um, I was nursing her and this was really late at night. So she, she just happened to wake up and um, I don't know, I felt a closeness to her. I felt this different feeling that I that I had with her, um, almost like I could have this conversation in my mind with her. <laughs> And then she farted <laughs> and then I lost it and I couldn't stop laughing. It was ugly. It was so, I don't know. I almost felt like that was her response to me <laughs> in that moment. And it was just so comical. And I felt, I felt relief and I felt closer to her and I felt this bond that I felt was missing. And I feel, and I almost feel like it's missing from some of my other children because you know, like those are so long ago. I mean, I had my first child over seven years ago. So to go back and process those, I mean, you know, I'm only 34. So I got many years to go and process all those births, right? Because we just know that it's going to come back. All right. We are we're always processing. We're always cycling um, this sacral chakra. Um, ugh. And maybe in the future, I will talk about some other things. But, you know, after that, after I was able to get rid of that block of birth, some more blocks came through. Blocks that included memories that only I would have, that nobody else would be able to say, yeah, that's true. So imagine if you have experiences and you have memories that maybe only you and one other person had and they didn't talk about it and you didn't talk about it. So you may not even realize that they are real, that it really happened. Okay. I mean, try to pick, I don't know how old you are, but even try to remember 20 years back. Okay. Your memory is fading. Your memory, you know, you focus on the things that are positive, the things that get you through your days. And we kind of tuck and throw away the memories that don't serve us well. Okay. So if you do start to uncover images or see images or feelings that you never experienced before, and it's almost like, are these real? They're real. Okay, you will not think of a traumatic experience if it did not happen. You will not make one up, okay, unless someone in your life told you that it existed your whole life. You might uncover that it didn't exist, okay? Think back about to what the adults in your life said to you. Remember what mirroring is. Remember what project what projecting is, okay? When we were little kids, we didn't know what that meant when an adult said something to us, okay? But now we know that they were just always projecting themselves on us. So go back into those moments and try to decode the adults in your life. Try to figure out what was really going on, okay? There are details in our feelings, okay? In our emotions, all right? So um, I just wanted to give you this little update because I know I gotta practice what I preach and holy shit that I uncover a lot of crap in my life. Okay. Nobody's perfect. All right. I'm leading you there. Um, I'm leading you to a place where you can feel whole. Okay. And you know what? I already felt whole and then I uncovered all of this stuff. So, you know, we all have, we all have stuff. We all have stuff. 
in next video, I'm actually going to talk about the relationships of our parents and how it affected us as kids um, and how that can contribute to blocks in your sacral chakra. Okay. So until next time, um, and if you get nothing else to do, go find one of my pick a card videos. All right. Have a good day guys.